Hi, I'm Addison, and welcome to Art with Addison. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Since we're all stuck inside, I thought it would be fun to share some crafts that you can do with things found around your house. I actually have three ideas for today, four if you want to make this lovely balloon hat, but it gets really annoying, so we're just going to take it off. All right, so our first one that you can make is a leprechaun trap, and you can make it from um, shoe boxes or Amazon boxes or any box you can find around your house, and you can decorate it with stickers or paper, and you can color it, or you can use balloons or whatever you can find around your house. It's up to you. And leprechauns especially like rainbow and green and gold. And here's some that my sisters made. This is my leprechaun trap I made and I lured him in by all the colors and when he comes in, he'll trip over this rope like this. All right, our second craft is a mosaic rainbow and for this craft you'll need some regular cotton balls, um, some colored paper that you can just rip up into pieces like this. And you can also use some regular printer paper. We happen to have a big piece of paper, but whatever paper you want as your background works. Um, a glue stick, and you can also make some gold coins out of um, yellow paper, or we happen to have some gold foamy paper. If you don't have colored paper at your house, you can always color some paper with markers or crayons and then rip it up. So basically to make the rainbow, you're gonna make an arc of glue and then do one color at a time and place it on top of the glue so it sticks. And then you can go in rainbow order. And to make the cloud, you're just gonna kind of pull apart the cotton balls and then stick them to the paper at either end. And then you can also make a pot of gold if you want to. Um, you can also, if you have the dot art paints at your house, you can also make a rainbow out of the dot art. Final craft is a food craft, and so if you have any colorful cereal lying around, like Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles, which is what we used, you can sort them into rainbow colors or whatever color they are and make a rainbow by putting the glue down and then putting the cereal on top. And if you want to eat the cereal after, don't glue it down and then you can just eat it. And then you can also make, um, if you have Fruit Loops, you can make a Fruit Loop necklace and then just eat it. today's crafts I'll have a new video for you guys tomorrow in a few days we'll be doing a craft that uses one of these so I hang on to them because I know you've all stocked up did we catch a leprechaun no I think we did Ooh.